Greetings, I'm Brian from RC Workboat Haven. This is a weedless sailboat that's 39 inches long on deck, and it's based on a 1920s design of a six meter. Here's a quick flash on how the boat performs. I thought maybe that if I raised the shear line by one quarter of an inch, I could raise the water line slightly and then increase my interior lead ballast from 4.2 pounds to five pounds. I also wanted to put more reverse rake on the transom here. I thought it might improve the overall appearance. And this is a new six meter hull mold on top of a new plug. So now we're going to try to remove these two sides from the plug. But before we do that, we have to prepare things a little bit. Now first we're going to clean up this tape here where it meets the layup. I want it nice and flush. I'm going to use a common abrasive rasp type bit in a drill. This bit does a fairly neat job and doesn't throw the dust over a wide area. So now the tape is being cleaned up and everything here is flush. Now we can take off the tape. And here you can see the outline of the centerpiece on the plug. I'm going to use 1032 bolts and nuts to join the two halves of the mold together. I've roughly marked 11 holes here. I'm going to use a 1 8 bit for a pilot hole. Then I'll follow it up with a bit that's slightly larger than the 1032 bolt. Perfect. A nice tight fit. So here are the 11 bolts in place, plus one accidental hole. <laughs> now when the two halves of the mold are bolted together on the plug for storage, there's a lot less chance of distortion. And of course, when the two mold halves are bolted together, inside I could have two laid up hulls and then I could attach them together very accurately. So now we're at the stage where we can try to release the two halves of the mold from the plug. I'm going to use soft plastic sculpting tools to try to release the sides, but I have to have some kind of a gap where I can start and insert just one end somewhere here. This layup has a reverse transom. So the only way I can release these sides is to go out, up, and back. So I'm going to have to start here on the bow end and get myself a gap. And I don't really think that that's going to be easy. I've even got a metal chisel here so that if I have to damage my plug, it's just going to be in one spot. So first, let's try a mallet and see if that will loosen things up. Nope, that didn't do much. Let's try a wedge. No, that's not going to work. Let's try an adjustable wrench and give it a twist. Oh, I heard a slight little noise. There, I heard a crack. That's a good sign. Try the other side here. Another crack. Okay, I think I've got a slight opening. 
There we go. I've got one side here. See that? I've got one side slightly separated. I'm going to try to bring the other side to the same stage. And I believe I have it. Almost. Okay, now we're in business. Now I'm going to run soft plastic along here. Looking good. So we're on our way now along the top. And we are releasing on the bottom. So now we're loose all in this area here. And I'm just running it the uh, plastic along the bottom and it is loose all the way along on this side looking good we're almost there And now I'll run it down after area. Looking good. And we're free on one side. And free on the other. Here's one side. And here's the other. Now this black line is where I raised the freeboard one quarter of an inch. And on the transom, you can see here that I've extended it all of it seems to be in pretty good condition. So this plug is definitely reusable if I wanted to create another mold. There's no question about it. The more you experiment with fiberglass, the better the hobby becomes.